I'm Marisa De Los Santos. And I'm David Teague. And we are going to answer some questions about a book we wrote together called Saving Lucas Biggs. Um, David? The first question for Marisa is, how did you first get interested in time travel? I read a book when I was about 10 years old called A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it. But in this book, a girl named Margaret travels through space and time. She folds space and time together so she can travel and save her father who's in a terrible predicament. Um, and that's what first got me interested. It's a great book. Um, David, so the book's told in two different voices, Margaret and Josh. Which part did you write? I wrote the voice of Josh and Marisa wrote the voice of Margaret, which brings up the question, how did we collaborate as we wrote the book? Well, in order to write a book together, we decided we needed to know exactly what would happen. So we figured out as much of the story as we could beforehand and created kind of an outline where we knew what would happen in every chapter. And then we played a kind of writing ping pong where David would write a chapter and then he'd hand the book over to me and then I'd write a chapter and I'd hand it back to him. Um, it was a really fun way to write a book. Um, David, how did you come up with string theory physics? I personally didn't. I, I learned about it in a book by Bill Bryson called A Short History of Nearly Everything. Um, and when we used this idea of string theory physics, uh, because it says there are more dimensions than the ones we actually live in. There are dimensions that connect the dimensions we live in at different places. And I use these connections as the way for Margaret to travel from one point in time to another. Um, go ahead. Now, the next question is, how do you begin researching a book like this? Well, one of the things that we did, um, one of the things we're interested in is the ways that people protest injustice peacefully, without fighting, and the kind of courage that must, must take. And luckily in American history, there are a lot of examples of this. So we could do a lot of reading about groups like the Quakers or people like Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and it was just so interesting to us that we had to put it in our book. Uh, David, are there any facts, historical or modern, that we decided to use in the book? Yes, there are several, but the, the main historical event that we used is um, the, the basis of the mining camp massacre that Josh and Luke face. That's based on the Ludlow, Colorado massacre that happened in 1914 when the owners of a mine violently attacked their workers because the workers were standing up for their own rights. So you can look that up in a history book, the Ludlow, Colorado massacre. What advice would we give a young writer? And make it quick. Well. I would say read. Read as many books as you can. Figure out what works for you in those books. Figure out what doesn't. And try to use it in your own writing. If you see something great that a writer does, try to do it yourself in your own way. Um, I, I would say the first thing to do as a writer is read, read, read. And read some more. Thank so you. Go enjoy yourselves. Bye. Bye.